uh, definitely the button lock there you know eight inches overall is going to be the biggest one of them all and i want to say you know my fingers are well out of the way of the button and you know i wouldn't see myself uh pushing the button in any way unless i you know intentionally wanted to hello and what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is miguel you're watching miguel edc today we're going to be reviewing this guy right here the savivi elementum the button lock this is the og button lock there's now a new version of this guy which is called the savivi elementum button lock 2 so it would be like combining the og elementum and the button lock elementum and then putting all into the chassis for the original one so i have like a button right here but this is the og elementum this is the og element button lock which is a larger knife as you can see so let's jump right into it here without further ado let's do some quick comparisons here since we already have the og elementum right here man so og elementum is a little bit smaller i feel like as soon as i got a chance to experience the elementum button lock and feel the size of it i'm like this is the size that the elementum should have came in from the get-go right and i wouldn't surprise if at some point they add a flipper tab to this bigger size elementum so i'll talk more about that as the video progresses later on but yeah that is one thing that definitely stuck out for me uh since we're in the savivi family right let's toss in a savivi ortis right for some quick size comparisons right there you guys be the judge of that uh, definitely the button lock there you know eight inches overall is going to be the biggest one of them all let's compare it to the spider codes here's the para 2 pm2 paramilitary 2 and the para 3 right there you are so yeah somewhere in between the para military 2 and the para 3 right definitely smaller than the para 2 uh, bigger than the para 3 let's do a quick demco brothers right side by side so this guy is going to uh be uh yeah bigger than the demco ad 20.5 versions both of them the shark's foot blade and the clip point blade right there yeah you guys uh definitely probably like a half inch a good half inch or maybe a quarter of an inch uh longer right there by the way i'm really seeing these guys right now as we speak can't wait to show you guys the review video i right? can't wait to share that with you guys keeping it in the we nice savivi sin cut family right uh sin cut is a subsidiary of we knife savivi is also uh, a sister brand to we knife so they're all under the same we knife umbrella there and so comparing it side by side i want to say it is exactly very close if not the same size as the sin cut crawley right there right you guys will be the judge of that and it's maybe a hair bigger than the saxy right the saxy is shorter than the crawley it has a you know thicker blade of course but yeah very very compact comparable nice right there you guys let me know and the thing about these guys is these are also button locks right so uh the you know <laughs> one gripe i'm gonna get into later on uh actually i maybe shouldn't spoil it is the fact that these guys have uh, multiple deployment options right whereas the uh button lock savivi button lock for the price actually this guy comes in a little bit more money than the same cut variants there so we'll get more into that later on you know, those other guys have a lot more deployment options than the elementum button lock but uh, yeah i'll talk more about that in just a second here it is compared to the rap model one and the rap model two right ontario wrap model one that's still gonna be a bigger knife right the ontario wrap model two much smaller knife so yeah this one is a lot closer to the model one than it is to the model two right you guys be a judge of that right there since we're here let's do a quick um you know folded comparison there next to the para three pm2 right these obviously are going to be much wider knives to carry in your pocket great thing about the elementum button lock you know being a lot you know maybe like stretched out a little bit from the original design still very slim right still very gentleman like and that's what i liked about it that's why i also got it in all black right and you can see that right there here it is compared to the demco brothers on both blade variants right there so i want to say you know they're just as tall but obviously the demco 80 20.5 are going to be a little bit you know wider right on the pocket all right so a quick comparison then to the sand cut uh, brothers we were just looking at a second ago right it's going to be a lot closer to the crawley than it is to the saxy right so the crawley there right it's going to be probably about the same width whereas the saxy because of the blade right it's going to be a, a little bit wider than these two and last but not least we have the rap model one and rap model two the model one is going to be definitely wider it's a much longer wider knife uh, i want to say maybe the model one is probably the closest on how probably the closest on you know being just as narrow as the uh Savivi the elementum so a lot closer to the model 2 than it is on the model 1 right there and in case you're wondering we didn't forget about the Savivi family we have the Savivi elementum og right here it's probably going to be around the same exact same width 
and then the Ortis might be just a hair a little bit wider because of you know the blade sticking out right there by the way I found out the Ortis is the only knife that when you push the table right it likes to dance a little bit just like that kind of kind of gets annoying a little bit sometimes <laughs> when I'm doing my reviews all right quick uh, carry profile here right next to the pair of three all right uh, pair of three a little bit thicker there uh, the pair of two or PM2 is going to be mm, arguably a hair bigger but very very comparable right Demco brothers of any kind right they're gonna be a little bit slimmer than the Civivi compared to the Senkat uh, Crawley that's gonna be a wider right fatter knife right there same with the Saxi are you guys be the judge of that and they're not by much right not by much rap model one of course is going to dwarf this guy look at that yeah definitely a lot thicker right there and the rap model two all right it's probably very comparable to the rap model two right the civivi elementum might be a little bit thicker than this guy next to the og elementum all right let's see hard to see hard to line them up next to each other but they are pretty much exactly the same width which is very nice that uh, Savivi did that here it is next to the Ortis all right about the same width as the Ortis as well so this is a drop point blade shape very similar to the original one of course right that's what makes an elementum an elementum and so the same thing I said on the elementum review still stands on this review right it's the fact that if you take every single blade shape of every knife out there and you take every single handle shape of every single knife out there and you kind of average them all out right you're probably going to end up with a design very similar to very vanilla design like the Civivi elementum and that's not a bad thing that is not a bad thing because for everyday tasks right when you have a knife that is this good looking right this ergonomically friendly right you definitely cannot go wrong right uh, as you can see here i can get a full four finger grip there's plenty of handles still showing no issues there um uh, yeah it's questionable to forward choke on it there's no finger choil here that's a sharpening choil so i wouldn't recommend that and i want to say you know my fingers are well out of the way of the button and you know i wouldn't see myself uh pushing the button in any way unless i you know intentionally wanted to that blade is rock solid in place that blade is not going anywhere so this is a very very, very solid lock all right guys so that being said let's do a quick summary on this guy again we have 14 c 28 and steel uh, we have this old black design that I went for with uh, black g10 handles also uh, the liners everything uh, liners are mill the old black also deep pocket carry in black as well uh, it is a button lock and a button lock only that is the only deployment so love it or hate it um, you know that is the only deployment method this guy has honestly though I've grown to uh, enjoy and love this guy for what it is right i like the fact that you know unlike some of the other guys sometimes when i swing my saxy or my crawly here too much the blade might want to jump a little bit and that's because these blades actually don't lock in place the great thing about this guy is that the blade isn't going to jump at all right once the blade locks it's locked for good it's not going anywhere right because the you know it's locked in place and it doesn't deploy at all unless you push the button a second time so that's definitely a great thing uh, again i like the longer size of the knife overall uh, makes it edcing it more comfortable than the og elementum for sure i could definitely appreciate the extra length uh, i think the vv elementum og though kind of gives those folks that have more stricter laws and whatnot the ability to carry a knife that's under three inches of blade whereas the uh bone lock here this longer size version right, is going to be a little bit bigger obviously so check your lock laws i'm not an attorney right hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video uh if there's anything that you guys uh think that i'm missing any feedback any additional questions concerns anything like that please let me know in the comments i would love to answer um, any questions you may have or take any feedback that you may have for future videos by the time you're seeing this video by the way chances are uh, the civivi centilia this little guy right here right the review for this guy is probably already live on the channel so if that's the case i'm going to put a card right here for you guys to check that out next right again thank you so much for sticking around to the end love you guys i'll see you on the next one peace